Hello, and welcome to Cooking with Coaches. I am Anna, one of the health coaches at Verda. And I'm Laura, also a health coach here at Verda. As coaches, we understand that one of the biggest challenges for patients, new and experienced alike, is knowing what to eat. Definitely. So today we're going to help you out by showing you how to throw together a really easy and tasty loaded cauliflower casserole. This is a really big fan favorite. You can quickly throw it together on a weekend to do some meal prep for the week or quickly assemble it during the week during a busy night. And this makes fantastic leftovers so you can freeze them or eat them as you go. So let's take a look at what we're going to need today to put this together. Sounds good. So first we've got some cauliflower. Um, this has already been cooked. You could also use leftover cauliflower or add it in as an extra step to cook it. We've got some cheddar cheese, sour cream, bacon bits is what we're using today, green onions, and some salt and pepper. Awesome. So to get started, head to your oven right behind me and preheat it to 350 degrees. Grab your mixing bowl and we're gonna to start to put all the ingredients together in here. So, we're going to take all of our sour cream, put it on in here, and then go ahead and grab, do you wanna grab it for me? The um, half of the cheese. Gotta get all this good stuff out. Perfect. And while she's doing that, um, let's also grab half of our bacon. Kind of want to snack on that. <laughs> and then half of the green onions as well. And that's just the green part, so don't use the white. Alrighty, and just give that a good stir. There you go. And then, oh, uh, don't forget the salt and pepper to taste. Sorry. Don't forget to take the cap off. Pro tip, yeah. Um, so chop your cooked cauliflower, or if you're like us um, and you already have it cut into small pieces, go ahead and add it into the mixing bowl. I'll help you out. Thank you. Give it a good stir to make sure everything's all mixed together. Getting a little messy here. Aprons would be a good idea, probably. <laughs> all right. So once it's all stirred up like this and coated evenly with the sour cream mixture, um, you're going to want to place it in a casserole dish, a medium sized kind of bacon dish like this. I think we can go ahead and do that. Yeah. Thank you. Just pour it right in. And then just spread it out so it evenly coats the bottom here. And then what you're gonna wanna do is sprinkle the remaining cheddar cheese on top, evenly across. It's my favorite part. Yes, so yummy. And then also add the rest of the bacon. Perfect. So we're going to grab the casserole and head to the oven and put it in. And we're going to bake for about 20 minutes uncovered. You're gonna to want to look for the gooey melty cheese that starts to bubble and that's when you know it's done. All right, timer just went off. So let's go ahead and pop it out of the oven. Ooh, it smells good. Ah. Perfect, the cheese is nice and gooey and bubbly just how we want it. What you can do now is take the remaining green onions and sprinkle on top for some garnish and a little extra flavor. Makes it look a little pretty. And then once this is ready to serve, you can divvy it up and serve it alongside a protein for a full meal. Mm -hmm. You can also make it vegetarian by leaving out the bacon bits. All right, let's take a bite. Yeah, this looks so good. Oh yeah, melted cheese. Mmm. Cheesy deliciousness. Mmm. That is so good. 